Captain's Log, Stardate 1880 AD. Tsar is Alexander II, and his peasants keep trying to assassinate him. He gets another assassination attempt in 1888. Hey, this is Athelred, the worst Civ player on YouTube. Let's play some Civ and try to turn this around. Now, I had lots of important thoughts about things I needed to do, and I forgot them all. Uh, I do recall that I need to uh, centralize my production for things like Spaceship Factory and Spaceship Parts in Moscow. So, I'm going to prioritize certain things like this hydro plant and the iron works. That's going to come right after the Manhattan Project. And I think that I will... Yeah. Whoa, 288, 292. Yeah, we're going to work the uh, windmill as well. And so what's my production here? 54. That'll take it down to a lot. So forget that. And this windmill actually, does it increase or decrease the time on... It doesn't make any change. So if it doesn't make any change, we're going to go with the windmill. Um, and is there any way I can get more production out of this city? I could, actually, because I'm kind of not super interested in growth anymore. I think I can unlock some of these tiles that have no production on them, like this one. And lock something a little bit more, like three hammers right there. And I think I might do one more. One more that's, um... I don't have... Oh, there's one with four apples. I don't need this many apples at this particular stage in the game. I really do need, in Moscow, to centralize my production. I like the fact that there wasn't a lot of city noise there. Alright, so... That was Moscow. And... What else did I need to do? Oh, yes. I do need to protect from a culture win because there's definitely one coming from Brazil. So I think that I'm going to go ahead and get opera houses everywhere. I don't know what's with the sound that's gone from the cities, but I'm loving it. I would like to never have sound from the cities again. Bank. This is Srivna, so yeah, we'll do an opera house here. And Poltavka, that's my unit city. Really, I think I'm going to go with something like a... Yeah, we'll do an opera house here. And is there anything else I need to do? Oh, yes. I wanted to check something about my research. I am coming in through Hubble. I think that can't be avoided. But next... Oh yes, I remembered I was going to nuke Brazil. And that requires submarines. I've got nuclear fission. That requires advanced ballistics. So what I think I'll do is after I get rocketry, I'll come up here for particle physics. And that'll unlock my subs. And then I'll come down here to advanced ballistics. So while I'm building subs, I'll be getting nuclear missiles. So let's do it. We're six turns from rocketry, and and our politics. Let's take a look at our diplomatic relations with everybody else. We are still one of the most hated civilizations in the world. <sighs> Sigh, it's our lot in life. Oh, you know, I should probably get some more... I should get another worker out, I think. How many workers do I have? Four, five? I got five? That's enough. Five's enough. I really don't feel like I need more than that right now. Alrighty. Come on now. This is starting to take too long. These turns are taking too long. Kill me some Gatlin guns. I don't know if I need to upgrade any of my troops. I don't think I do at this point. Oh, silly me. Machine guns, of course. So yeah, I'm going to start saving gold so that I can expedite things in Moscow. But that said, I will upgrade my machine guns. Let's see, how many do I have? My Gatling guns. I only have the one. All right. And if I'm saving gold for completing things in 
Moscow, then I'm not spending it on city-states, which is kind of too bad. But I do have at least the three I was most interested in over here. Yerevan is close. Let's see if I can cheaply get Yerevan. And then there's, I think, one more over on my east. And I just want these to as protection. Samarkand I've got, that's nice. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Come on, people. Let's move it. Gatlin gun was bombarded. Work began on a bank. Enemy spotted near Samaria. And eight more influence. Yeah, I can cheaply get this. So let's put 500 in. There's an ally. And that means the last one is Kizzle. Yeah, it's too bad I don't have one like right here. Actually, Tamatarcha would be... If I've got this protecting the north approach, then they would have to come through Tamatarcha, which that's just not going to happen. Arts funding? Embargo the Aztecs? I'm afraid... Ooh, do I think that's going to... Ah, uh, jeez, that's too bad. I can't, I can't protect them. Not against Arabia. I've, I've gone out on a limb enough with the Aztecs. So, Arts funding? I think I'm going to have to say no to this. And Dito hates me anyway. All right, so speaking of, is, let's see here. I can't be friends with you, and you still don't want... Ah, so frustrating. As far as trading, you've got spices that you can't trade. You hate me. You wouldn't trade with me anyway. You hate me, but you'd... you'd no? We'll make that work. Goodbye. I'm not talking to you anymore. And we go into one of our interminable terms. So in 1882, Alexander II was assassinated by a Russian peasant group which was calling for socialism. He was succeeded by Alexander III. So that was, what, about four or five assassination attempts against him? If I remember right, he emancipated the serfs. Let me take a look here. Alexander... Yeah, Alexander II emancipated the serfs. And it was his own serfs that he emancipated that killed him. They wanted more rights. They wanted socialism. They wanted a much greater degree of equality with the ruling class which you know I'm just gonna say here man that wasn't very cool of the serfs but I get it that they wanted they wanted equality but still I mean, you could have waited until Alexander the third or something to assassinate him dude the guy emancipated you I don't know I don't know what I'm talking about uh, Let's unlock that. Oh, can we not? Lo oh, that's that's a shame. Actually, we don't need to do that. We can just click that. Alrighty now. Great, I get to make a proposal. I think my proposal is going to be... <clears throat> hmm. I think I'm going to repeal Scholars in Residence. And Rostov has picked up some sugar. Ain't that a dandy? My, uh, hmm. I want to go get that. I think I probably have excess sugar anyway. Yeah, I got plenty of excess sugar. We'll just automate him, and he'll probably build railroads, which is fine with me. Highest gold is going to have him trading with Medina. That's not bad. Wait, 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 wait. That's going to be exporting science. So, and that's going to be importing some other faith. Yeah, fine. 522 gold. Wow, that's pretty quick that we're earning money right now. It would be a dandy if at some point I would, I don't know, uh, get a great engineer. <laughs> In fact, two great engineers would be super. 
He's talking smack on my culture. Admittedly, my culture ain't all that great. I think that this might be acceptable. I think we've done it in the past. You're denounced denounce the Aztecs. Oh, sorry. We'll go it alone. I've completely hitched my train to them. They're my only hope of getting Brazil in check. 1883, nothing to talk about. Arabia is now the ally of Yerevan. You scumbag, I hate you. Bunch of stuff started. Research lab, university. Very nice indeed. So, I'm gonna kill that guy before he gets to my mines. And I guess that means I'm spending more money. A freaking waste. Uh, I'll just wait till I've got a thousand to put into it. That'll only be a turn or two. It's galling me though that I'm still spending money on my on city states. I want to shift off of that course and start banking it all. Feels like these cities out here don't have very much in the way of population. They really don't. These cities are just as much chairman, Bodica. Nice. So, yeah. See? Just a minute ago, he wanted to be friends with me. And now he's denouncing me. This is why I have such a bad opinion of the AI in this game. Literally, two turns ago, he has to be my friend. And now he's denouncing me. We don't kill this thing now. Okay. Great. Catherine has completed the Manhattan Project. Ain't that a baby? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So, we're going to automate the last of our workers. And one more turn and to look at all the units Kiev and Riga have. I'm, that's, why I'm, that's why they're my allies. Right there. That's why. Yeah. So I'll put a stinking thousand gold in the Yerevan and see if Arabia plays their one-up game with me there. Yeah, you all hate me. You know what? I'm going to have nukes here in a minute. We'll see what you do about that. Population growth coming in Moscow. And Andro Novo here shortly. Why is Tamatarcha locked? I think I can unlock them. I will unlock them. As soon as it's my turn. A good rule for All right, Mobile Sam's is this. rocket Always artillery that it will and the Apollo program. So, gonna do the Apollo program. Um, Tamatarcha will unlock you. One turn until border growth, so we will again be having happiness problems. <sighs> Sigh. It is really stinking hard to stay in positive happiness. There. Maybe I just need to... Maybe I just need to lock everything at a certain point and say, we're never going to grow again. We're doing some kind of eternal one-child policy or something. Portugal has denounced the Aztecs. Everybody hates the Aztecs and me. It's unfathomable. 1886. Alexander III in 1884 went hard against the socialists who killed his dad making it clear that his autocracy would not be limited by any internal dissent. He placed the peasants under the control of government bureaucrats that he called land captains. That sounds real nice. And in 1886, he weakened the local governments so that they were more under the thumb of his centralized government. So real super dude here. 1888, the socialist movement struck back, attempting to assassinate him. He survived. Oh, this is a cool story. He survived the blast in his train car, so he was in a train car with his family, and a bomb went off in his train car, and him and his family survived, but the roof collapsed, and it is said that he held the roof up with his shoulders in order for his children to be able to escape. 
pretty noble of him. Cape Town's got a new ally. Anyway, he sustained damage to his kidney, blunt force trauma to his kidney, by uh, by just taking the blast, the hit of the blast. So he. Uh, I want to work on the hydro plant, but I have to work on the Apollo program. That's really disappointing. Now, is there maybe some more more food that I can shift off of? Yeah, like you. I can shift you off and put you to pure apple or pure hammers someplace, like right here. That's actually a great deal right there. Anybody else? No? Alright. And nobody else on the stock exchange. Okay. And for our trade route, there. Eight happiness. And that's about to go down when Andro Novo grows. So just watching that go down. Anyway, yeah, his kidney was damaged in the blunt force of the blast wave, so he uh, developed kidney disease, and it eventually killed him, but not right now. Ah, look, barbs. Shoot. I'm afraid that they're going to move in and, and pillage one of my tiles, like this buffalo tile right here. Without me having a chance to send this land ship to deal with it. A friend of mine pointed out, you know, honor gets a bad rap. Yep, there it goes. But uh, the fact of it is, is it's really nice to be able to have forewarning about things like that. How aggravating. Just to know that a camp has popped up someplace so you can go deal with it without having to deal with repairing tiles as well. Oh my goodness, I never started a timer. So I have no idea. I'll just go until I run out of history, which is 1903. 1888. Oh yeah, that's when yeah Alexander III got bombed. And in 1890... Oh, nothing happened. But I have a note here to mention that Alexander III, although he wasn't really cool with the serfs, he did not conduct any foreign wars so at least there is that in his entire reign he never conducted any foreign wars hey that's great alrighty just move these units out here to give us a little bit more forewarning great person born and we're gonna pop that right away Super. That's a really, 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 really nice one there. Okay. So where are you? It's a camp out there someplace. Down to 7 happiness. And Andrew Novo is going to grow any turn now. Uh, you know what? I think I'll start running trade routes of hammers to Moscow. Only if we accept our embassies. Thanks. Who knows? Maybe if he stops hating on me so much, at least... Well, it's probably just better not to have people hating me. Um, I've got plenty of uranium. I was about to say when I started this game, I've come to the conclusion that the Russian um, abilities aren't really very good. But, 8 Uranium's nice. Milan requests units. Isabella's at peace with Milan. Yeah, 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 yeah. Orders of Potapka have grown. And next turn, we'll get satellites researched, which will be super, 
So we're going to change this home city to Poltavka. And we will use it to send hammers to Moscow. Because we need it. I'm going to uh, really start focusing hammers on Moscow at this point. Oh look, and we've got a thousand gold, which means I can go get the last city-state and start saving gold for improvements in Moscow, which is nice. <clears throat> I'm selling that stuff to her for one gold, which is less than really I should be selling it to her, but it's just because I'm trying to get positive or at least to manage relations with her. To have trade deals running with her. It's one of those times where you make trade deals that are in your strategic interest, even if the details of the the business are horrible. I don't like the TPP. I think that's basically what that is. Which is something that particular realization I've owed to playing this game. Riga wants Kiev bullied. Well, ain't that a dandy? And I'm in the information era. Satellites, come on, launch it. Yeah. Look at Rio de Janeiro with 150 tourism. That's so powerful. Yeah, yeah. Ooh, great. So, there's lots of happiness, up to 17 happiness. I don't need to worry now about happiness in my cities. And we are going to send hammers to Moscow. What's this ordered by? Hammers to Moscow. Great. And Poltavka is done with this. That's great. So you can start on the Hubble Space Telescope because we have other things to do in Moscow. And since we're doing this, can we focus a little bit more onto hammers? No. Really, there's nothing else we can put on hammers. So now I did say I was going to go for particle physics. And wow. There's lots of barbs coming in from up there. Super! So, now we're in a much better place with our happiness. I don't need to lock my city's grid. 1894! That's when the next thing happens, so we got a couple of turns. So, odds on Ethelred winning this game. I, um... I feel fairly positive about it, but still, I don't know, man. I haven't ever won a game. I'm starting to feel like all I do is lose this game. Interesting that Dito is over here. So, I see myself bringing a sub over here. Yeah, you can have it. And nuking Sao Paulo, Rio de Janeiro, and... Really, just cruising along the coast and nuking all these other cities here. Monte, how are you doing here, man? You've got lots of cities. You definitely went wide. Huh. Well, that was interesting to see all that. In Japan, how have you been doing? Huh. Pretty tight. Pretty tight in there. Hmm. I'm surprised that uh, Korea hasn't been more of a breakout power. Just kind of looking around. Dito doing pretty well. And look at that. Madrid not working the straight at the Rock of Gibraltar. So I figured the entire time that that was a gimme, but that's not. I guess it's because Lisbon is here. And the Celts locked onto their island. I feel you, brother. I know just what that's like. Played an English game. That was rough. All right. How many votes do I have for myself? Not enough to secure it. Um, what about the Aztecs? Four? Uh, that ain't gonna happen. Who can I vote for, which is my friend? Nobody is my friend. That's the easy answer. So, I'll just vote for myself. Because it doesn't matter too much. 
what I do here. And yes, so this is nice now that I have the map revealed. We will finally upgrade that unit to a machine gun. I quite like machine guns. And Kizzle, 74 influence needed. Wow, so even with a thousand, I'm not going to get you. But I'm going to do it because I really want to make sure late game wars, they happen. Because the AI sees, oh, you've got three or four spaceship parts, and they bring the heat. So I've never been exactly a great powerful military. I want to make sure that if they're going to come at me, they got to come through city-states first. What do we got here? And speaking of victory conditions, oh yeah, great, another spy. What is the select player Brazil? How are they doing in winning? They're about to get Portugal. They've got Spain. And me? What about me? Ooh, they're popular. Alright, well. Gee, again? I'm gonna just wait on that for a little while. Can we send hammers to Moscow? I want to... Yes, thanks. Losing gold, but right now, hammers are so much more important to me. In Moscow. Oh, and I forgot to assign my spy. Where should I send him? I really, I don't think that I have a, oh nice, I'm first in approval now too. I don't have, I don't think, any place that I really need to protect. I could send him to Arabia or Brazil. If I was worried about somebody going to war with me, who would it be? It would be... Who's up here? Oh, Portugal. It might be Portugal. They would have a weak military coming through there, though. Could be China. I... I think I would like to know what China's up to. They are a non-trivial player. So let's send, let's send somebody to China. What's their capital? Shanghai? Nanjing? Is it Nanjing? No. Shanghai. No. When I get it right, I'll get the offer of, do you want to send them as a spot? Oh yeah, Beijing. Duh. Diplomat. Another caravan to send hammers to Moscow. I can't do that. Can I only send one from here? Then let's move you to Andronovo. All right. Feeling like I'm feeling like events are passing underneath my nose and I'm not taking advantage of them. But I'm working on the space telescope. I'm working on Apollo. I'm sending hammers. Hmm. My happiness is slipping. I've lost 6 points. City's continuing to grow. Let's go through, and Poltavka's going to grow again. Let's go through, run through the cities real fast, and see if there's any specialty buildings which need to get worked. Yep, there's Poltavka. Oh, uh, yeah, a research lab. So... Yeah, that's a great tile to remove for the research lab. And Srubna... I think I don't have a problem with 
taking somebody off of food and putting them on the bank. And here in Samaria, market and stock exchange. Now that one's getting more. I think we can grow Samaria though. Andrew Novo at 14 citizens, not working any of the money buildings. I think we can take some people off food though, like, oh yeah, right here and here. And put them on stock exchange. Stock exchange. Alright, if there's any more pure food, we'll take them off there. Let's see, in here, Tamatarcha can definitely stop growing so much. We can unlock some of the, some of the food heavy places. Oh, there's only, only one. Put that on market. Hmm. Okay. Making a fair amount of science per turn. And we are going to send our hammers to Moscow, right? We can do that, right? Yeah, there we go. Okay, Moscow now doing 83 hammers per turn. Much better. And what will I buy with my hammers in Moscow? Probably the hydro plant or the ironworks. China has denounced Japan. Be super when I have the production and the time. The opportunity costs, as what's his name calls them. Uh, gray robot or something like that. In order to... Dirty robot? Dirty robot. Filthy robot. For me to be able to build nukes. They will enhance my security greatly. And give me an opportunity to put ba um, Brazil in its place. 1895 and 1894, Alexander III died of kidney disease. Nicholas II came to power. Also in the same year, Russia moved back to the gold standard. Okay. We'll just sleep this land ship and roll a turn. Feeling anxious. I'm feeling very anxious. But at the same time, relatively hopeful. We have nothing else to talk about in history until 1902. What happened? The people of China have risen up and forced their leader to adopt freedom. Oh, all right. That's not bad. Yeah, this is Brazil. This is the impacts of Brazil. They are exporting their culture hardcore on the rest of the game. And it is not, um, it is not for nothing that I am building opera houses. <laughs> In fact, I'm quite worried about, I'm quite worried about them. So let's see here. If I were Brazil and I have no modifiers, yeah, that's good. I don't have any negative modifiers, but I don't have any positive modifiers. And yeah, they are definitely on course to winning this game. Ironically, the Aztecs and the Celts may be what keep them from winning. All right, we are going to rehouse you to Srubna so you can send hammers. And every turn, I'm making less and less gold from trade routes. I wonder if I'll get the Hubble Space Telescope. I'm not the only one with advanced science. I'm neck and neck with Brazil. So they are uh, they are neck and neck, but I think we're pretty far ahead of everybody else in the game. Yeah, we're way ahead of everyone else. So this game is almost entirely just Brazil and myself. At 1897, what do we think? We think this game can be done by 1950? I want to run, I mean, as far as history is concerned, I wouldn't mind seeing it out to the end of uh, the fall of communism and uh, Gorbachev leaving power and maybe Yeltsin coming in power. Yeah, I might go as far as Yeltsin. But on, on the condition that I eventually win. And it really doesn't look like this game's going to last that long. Looks like it's going to be over before that. Moscow hammers. 
Ireis considerar esta oferta? That's unbelievable. You want to be my friend. It wasn't that long ago you were mouthing obscenities at me in Portuguese. You've denounced the Aztecs. I'll go it alone. And you can denounce me next turn. Crazy. Speaking of which, the Aztecs... What are they? They're autocracy? That's probably what's keeping us from being friends. I'll try again, though, when this turn comes up. Try talking to them. I want a defensive pact. I guess I don't even need it, though. You know what? Let me challenge some assumptions of mine. Because Brazil's not interested in a military victory. The main reason why I've been concerned about the Aztecs was because I was concerned about... I wanted to get a defensive pact with them in order to get... Uh, in order to cause Brazil to think twice about attacking the Aztecs. But... I don't think that's going to happen. How about we go look at this a little bit differently? Let's discuss... Shall we declare war against... I don't know why I didn't think about this a long time ago. Where is he? He's not here. What, are you already at war with him? Oh, you're at war with him right now. Alright then, well, good luck. And I mean that. You have my best wishes with you. But, um, I don't think you're ever going to become friends with me. So... Who's this? And I can't offer her friendship. Wow. Okay, so I've just changed my mind about the Aztecs. I... I can't befriend them. Maybe I can Carthage in China. So let's try it from that point of view. Where is China anyway? Where are they? There they are. Let's, um, do we need to accept embassies? Let's do embassies first. And Portugal, is there anything I can do Bons for dias. you? You're freedom anyway. Sou todo ouvidos. Yeah, let's just do open borders. I know you like it. There. Muito. All right. Next. So that actually is a big weight off my back that I don't have to keep... What the heck? Uh, I just don't understand you, Portugal. You're erratic. I should have accepted your friendship. You must be... I gotta look up your AI flavor because you are bizarre. They don't make any sense at all. Is that railroad? Nice. So that will help the production everywhere. And great, we've got penicillin. That will come in handy. I guess, or not. I don't need any more babies. But I'm guessing that I get marines as well, right? Marines, medical lab, that's the population growth one. And another trade route, so whoopty freaking do. Get another trade route. Um, it'll be Samaria. Samaria caravan and next turn it's going to start sending hammers to Moscow actually it might start sending hammers to Poltavka to help with the Hubble Space Telescope I think I've got enough hammers going to Moscow now I may also when I've got my roads converted to railroads I may send um I may send my workers back here to start cutting down forests around Moscow. Just for the, uh, the hammers. Alright, so... Yeah, well, maybe... I've always wanted to be friends with you, but... I'm not gonna demand anything. Three happiness. All right, we're shutting down all growth right now. Zero happiness. 
Why is Antwerp? Antwerp may be... Um, well, let's see if we can get happiness this way. So, scholasticism would be nice. Okay. I'm very... Not making up my mind here. Um, we need Antwerp to be my friend. So there's two happiness. And is there any other mercantile ones? No. Bucharest? Where are you on the map? Over there? Um, you're going to tribute me. Thanks. All right. Um, now for social policies. Oof. So, what are you? 66, I'm 66. Golly, man. Yeah. I'm just trying to think here. Do I really want to use this on happiness or go with scholasticism? I do have several allies and the tech bonus would be great, especially when I'm coming into this critical period. But you know what? I'm... Yeah, you know, I'm gonna... Mm, I'm gonna suffer worse if I go into unhappiness. Luckiness or happiness from every national wonder. I don't have very many of those. That might be... I wish it would say... If I mouse over it? No. How many national wonders do I have? Is there some way I can see this? Wonders. One. Two. I think this is... That's national, isn't it? Where does it say? I thought it was national, but I know I've got at least one here. Potavka? Mm, that, I think, Circus Maximus is one. So that's two. Srubna? Mm, none. Samaria? None. I don't think Andrew Nova or anybody else has any. So that would be two happiness. As compared with the other one, which is what? Water mill, hospital, and medical lab. So water mills, we got water mills. Let's see here. One. Would have several water mills. I think that I'm going to go that way. Because as much as I want the additional science, I can't go into unhappiness. Alright. And now we're going to lock growth everywhere except Moscow and Polkavka. Poltavka is my only other production city. Alrighty. And we were going to send hammers to Poltavka. Speaking of Poltavka, Poltavka hammers. There, how's that help? Not much. Alright. Okay, and maybe we can trade for some happiness. Olas? Do I need spices? Well, now that Brazil's well, not so pissy with me. Spices? Yeah, I could use spices. Actually, I had a lot of deals going with you back in the day. No. Great, and chocolate? Claro. No Deve way you're going to get open borders. No way. All right, so there, plenty of happiness now. I don't have to worry about happiness. Now I wish I'd gone with the, um, yeah, 
Should have gone with scholasticism. Oh well, it's done. What's done is done. 1902, Russia completed the Trans-Siberian Railroad. And I think this is going to be my last turn for tonight. Ending with the Apollo program, so that'll be nice. I think actually we're in a really stable, strong place right now. But these turns are just taking way too long. Hmm. It's remarkable that no players have been kicked out. No players have lost their capitals. Yay. That'll be nice. We'll pick that up eventually. Just killing barbs. All right, so four turns until that's done. I don't suppose I can buy an ironworks, can I? No, I can't. Um, the nuclear plant is at the... Oh, I can get a nuclear plant and a hydro plant. city must not contain a solar plant. All right, well, I'm feeling like I'm going to go to this plant. Yeah. Great. See, that's what I'm talking about right there. And the ironworks. Ironworks will come next. I can buy the research lab. So... Three turns into my plan. Man, we are kicking it in Moscow now. Alright, well, I would keep going, but I am out of history. So I need to stop, and it's probably been 30 minutes anyway. Probably been longer than that. So thank you all for watching. I feel like this has gone pretty well. We are still one in literacy. We're one in approval. We'll become one in soldiers when I get a couple of nukes. And foreign population, I suppose that's not horrible. Yeah, I think things are going all right. Okay, thank you very much for listening. Please click like and subscribe. Bye.